gotta stop watching this before I go to bed. Time to review. Zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> We're here today to talk about Dead Man Wonderland. There's some creepy motocons, look at that shit. Alright, anyways, so, you want to know what this is about? It's about this kid, and he killed all 29 of his classmates. Crazy, right? Thing is, he didn't kill him, but everyone thinks he did. In United States court systems, it's innocent until proven guilty. However, this isn't in the United States. This is in Japan. So, you know, he gets accused because he's the only one at the scene of the crime. All of his 29 classmates all die at the same time. Why is he the only one left alive? And so he gets accused wrongfully, but no one can know that. And... He gets this lawyer, Tamaki, who's like this, he's really, he's just really creepy. You don't know whose side he's on. But he offers a hand to Ganta and basically says, Oh, I can help you. Ha, 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 I can help you. Because that's, that's actually how they drew him for some reason. Anyways, so Ganta ends up going to this place called Dead Man Wonderland. And basically... It's where they store all of the criminals that they don't want to just uh, execute on the spot. They don't just want to kill any of these criminals. They're going to use these criminals to entertain people. Yeah! So, basically, they all have to compete in these games that are like, that they could die in. Like, um, in episode 2 or 3, there's this, uh, what they call, I don't know if they call it the dog race or what, but it's this race, and it's like a bunch of contraptions. It's kind of like an obstacle course, but uh, it's a lot more uh, deadly, it's a lot more lethal. So they end up going through that, and the, the, there are a bunch of spectators, a lot of people go into these uh, into these rings and they're like, oh look, people are dying, that must be fake. But no, it's real. They're dying. You feeling me? So yeah, that's basically the premise. Uh, Ganta has to uh, survive through uh, Dead Man Wonderland and uh, with many other characters like Shiro is his old childhood friend and she's like crazy she's all happy and stuff this Dead Man Wonderland you're like how f why why is she so happy but like she she didn't seem to care um, also there's you know like Yo and uh, and his sister and uh, you know Crow and eventually, you know, eventually Ganta has to fight other dead men. He finds out he's a dead man. Which, basically, he uses his blood to attack the shit out of people. And, uh, so, he ends up eventually having to fight these other people. Who also can use their blood as weapons. And defense. So, basically, those are pretty big spectator sports, I guess. And... So, you know, he fights Crow, he fights the crazy, uh, uh, you know, they all have these, these animal nicknames, it's kind of weird. But yeah, uh, that's all I feel like talking about, because uh, you should definitely watch this series. It's, uh, where would I recommend it? If you liked Elf and Lee, you'd probably like this series. If you liked Mariah Nikki, or Future Right Diary. You'd probably like this series. Um, basically, it has a lot of gore, uh, cursing, and uh, a few sexual references and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I would say it's probably uh, at least PG-13. But, uh, you know, it's really cool. I f feel like this, this can be established as one of those gateway animes. Uh, that people will, you know, if they've never seen anime and they, they watch this show, you know, that could lead them into other anime, you know, whether it's more, more, uh, 
more like shonen or if it's, you know, any of the other genres. But, uh, yeah, it aired on Toonami last year, and it was, it was uh, in my opinion, the best show on the block at the time. And it was just really great seeing it, like, just a straight, like, straight out of the gate, dubbed, all the... All new dubs, and it all premiered in Toonami. That's just really cool, because the DVD wasn't out yet. But yeah, we all, back in October, we all, uh, a lot of the Toonami faithful uh, rounded together and pre-ordered Dead Man Wonderland on the same day. And it was really cool. And I hope they make a season two of this, because, uh, uh, I'm just going to say the ending's not really resolved for those people not wanting too many spoilers. But, uh, you'll find that out. That's basically Dead Man Wonderland, uh, reviewed by me, which I go on a lot of tangents and stuff, because that's, I, that's how I do. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed this, and, uh, today's Saturday, so maybe Toonami Skype Cup tonight. Yeah? Yeah?